amazing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today I'm gonna be making some albondigas that are low carb and keto friendly with my mom's traditional Mexican recipe. So while that's boiling, my mom and I are gonna um, put together the meatballs. So this is my mom's recipe, guys. This is an authentic albondiga recipe. So she's gonna tell me what to put in here. Okay, so here we have two pounds of grass-fed, grass-finished beef. That's what we're using, but you're gonna use whatever you have on hand. So we're just going to season our ground beef, starting with the salt. So the salt first, let's go ahead and just kind of, you know, start mixing it in. Okay, so ahora los huevos, ¿verdad? Okay, I've never tried cracking an egg with my lefty, but we're gonna try today because I obviously have this hand. Uh -oh. Dang, girl. Okay, you wanna help me con este caso? Para que no se me meta los shells. Okay, so my mom's gonna help me with the egg. So it's two eggs and we mix it. Okay, so salt, give it a little mix. Now the eggs. Yellow de masma? Okay, and now we're going to add in our onion, which my mom was very kind and helped me help me chop up. So we diced up some onion, some mint, and then some oregano, and lastly some tomato. Okay. So these are the seasonings, but typically um, albondigas has um, rice. But of course we're making ours low carb and keto friendly. So what we're gonna add is some collie rice. And trust me, we've made this several times. It tastes delicious. You really can't even tell that it's cauliflower. Cause um, usually the rice just kind of gets blended, um, like lost in the meat. And it's the same thing with, with the collie. So this is the same measurement that you would use if you were making them um, like a regular version. You would just use rice instead of collie rice. So. And now just mix it. So the purpose of the rice, it doesn't really do anything for taste. What it does is just makes the meatballs a little bigger. So back in the day, they used to add a lot more rice to the meat so that it would just add a lot more substance to the to the meal and also, of course, make it more budget friendly. So um, I personally like it. I think that it also adds just to the texture, but you know, if you don't have it, you can actually still make it and it's gonna turn out. Our meat is done and prepared. My mom's saying that you have to feel the texture and make sure that it'll stick together. So I say, yeah. So we're gonna add just one more egg to it. Okay, so what my mom is saying is that you have to make sure that your water is boiling because if it's just hot, when you throw your meatball in there, it'll open. So it has to be boiling so that when it falls in there, it like, Sticks and it cooks. ¿Quién te enseñó a hacer los um, my grandma? Mi abuelita. Clara? Mm -hmm. So my great grandma showed my Saki how to make them. Just 
just in case you guys didn't get like the importance of this, your water has to be boiling. Like it needs to be boiling because when you put the meatball in there, it has to cook immediately or else it opens up. So now let's just put them all in. And then I'm gonna show you what they're gonna look like once we're done, okay? So. Okay, we're putting in our celery. The celery takes a little longer to cook than the other veggies, so you wanna put it in first. And now let's go ahead and cover it and we'll come back and check it in a few minutes. Alright guys, we're going in for the taste test. My mom's really shy, so she'd want to do it with me. She said, heck no. Amazing. This is one of my favorite caldos, one of my favorite soups. So a caldo de albondigas is perfect for the winter season because it is obviously super hot. I'm like burning my little hand right now. Um, it's really filling, it's full of protein, super nutritious. My mom reads all of my messages on Instagram, on TikTok, and here on YouTube. Cheer her on, let her know that you guys wanna see her cooking with me. Her recipes are absolutely phenom. She learned how to cook from my grandma. My grandma used to have a restaurant in Mexico and everything that they make is amazing. So that's who I learned how to cook from. And um, I really want to make more recipes with her, but she is so shy. So go in to the comments, cheer her on, be like, Saki, you have to be in the next video. And let me know what other recipes would you guys like to see? Tamales, chile rellenos, menudo. There's, um, I mean, like chile, what is it? Carne con chile. I mean, even like super, super traditional, like easy recipes. Let me know, let us know, because I'd be more than happy to come on here. And even if she's like kind of on the sideline, she'll she'll teach me. Um, she'll like kind of walk me step by step on the recipes. But this one here, it's the caldo de albondigas, which is like a meatball stew. And I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. That's gonna take you to lowcarblove.com where you're gonna be able to print this recipe along with exclusive recipes that I don't share anywhere else on the internet. So make sure you check that out. And if you still want a little more of me, follow me on Instagram and on TikTok where I share more recipe ideas and just a glimpse into my everyday life. Hit that like button. That's a way that you show me love in return. And obviously I really appreciate it. I love you guys so much. Thanks for being here with me and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.